Hi guys, Steph here. Yes, I just thought I'd let you feast your eyes on this gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Some of you would have looked at it and you'll know straight away what it is. For you that don't know, we've got a beautiful Parker Vacumatic Standard Lockdown Fountain Pen. Made in Canada and this one I am dating 1938. Now, although I'm dating it 1938, the Vacumatics, they, they started making them around about sort of early 1930s, I believe around about 33 or something like that, and they went through to around about 1939 when they then sort of changed um, the filling system. Now, this one, as I say, is 1938, we'll come to that in a moment. First of all, the size of the pen from the top of the pen, sorry, from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's a lovely 130 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, the diameter, a nice chunky 12 millimeters in diameter. Now, this one, as you can see, comes in this beautiful burgundy rose pearl absolutely gorgeous as we said this one is what they term as the lockdown filler which once again we'll show you in a moment now the Parker Vacumatics they made them in lots of different colors different sizes different variants as I say this one is the standard it was made in Canada um, I'm not going to show you the the barrel imprint because it's a little bit on the worn side I can make out the fact that it says made in Canada that it's a parky vacuumatic what I can also make out is that uh, again with a loop at the end is a date number being the number eight with two dots now that is dating the pen to 1938 it's dating the pen to the second quarter i.e. the two dots, so it's the second quarter of 1938. Slightly different on the nib, we'll come to that in a moment. But as I say, this beautiful burgundy, um, burgundy or rose pearl colour. They brought them out in lots of different colours, I'm not going to go through them. As I say, lots of different colours, different trim, etc. It has gold filled trim i.e. it has this little band to the bottom of the blind cap there and if I show you the the jewel you can see it has a matching jewel to the end of the barrel there if we take you up to the to the cap you can see it's got these three gold filled or gold plated bands to the bottom of the cap the very recognizable arrow clip there give you a sideways view quite a short clip and to the top it's got a um, registered number around the sort of the gold section of the clip to the top and then to the top again there you go you can see it's got a matching jewel to the top as well again in this striped pearl color now the beautiful things about these pens you can't actually see it but this one is actually opaque, i.e. it's translucent or term it whatever you wish. Now, I always find it difficult to actually show, um, you know, the, the transparency of these pens. But, <coughs> excuse me, what we'll do, we'll bring on my little torch and hopefully, there you go, you'll be able to see it. So what you can actually see there. Let's try and give you the best angle. Hopefully you can see how opaque it is. You may actually see the breather tube to the top there. And then to the bottom, you may actually just see the top of the diaphragm 
to the top or should I say to the bottom of the barrel there but it, in actually in normal light it's a lot better than this and you can see the the transparency and obviously you'll be able to see the the ink inside the barrel itself so let's take that away so all in all superb beautiful pen now let's unscrew the cap for you like so let's give you the customary twirls of the pen show you different angles like so absolutely gorgeous it's a beautiful pen and a lovely size as well very comfortable pen to actually hold with a small section but again nice and comfortable let's show you the section there you can see it's got a slight concaved section slightly tapers towards the nib the section is black and then if we show you the nib you can see it's got the the correct arrow nib with this sort of inlaid arrow there you can see and the imprint reads let's keep it nice and still for you so you can read it it reads Parker Vacumatic registered trademark made in Canada and I don't know if you can actually see it but to the very bottom or it may actually be hidden inside the section to the very bottom of the nib it's got the number 18 let's first of all show you a sideways view like so let's show you the feed underneath everything has been cleaned internally new diaphragm fitted as you can see it's got this vacuumatic comb comb feed underneath there again everything is lovely and clean now slight difference with the nib the nib actually reads as I say number 18 the one is indicating that it's the first quarter and the eight again for 1938 um, which is a little bit unusual in the fact that around about 1938-39 um, they actually stopped using the two digit dating number and introduced the single digit number which is on the barrel with the dots as we said earlier it's got a number eight with two dots again second quarter of 1938 so the barrel has now got the new numbering system and within the same year but a quarter one quarter earlier you've got the if you like the older version i.e of the dating being the 18 which again is the first quarter of 1938 so we can clearly date this pen okay so as i said earlier this one is a lockdown filler which means that to the end of the barrel we've got what we term as a blind cap and on these lockdowns if I unscrew it for you there's a blind cap for you there and as you can see it's actually a small blind cap okay now the reason for it being small is that this this filler here again is what they term as a lockdown which means that if I simply push it down and turn it to the left there you go you can see it now comes out so to fill the pen you would dip the nib in the ink and you would press down on the filler like so numerous times now if I bring my torch on again let's try and show you take my fingers out the way Right, it's not very good, but you may actually see the diaphragm extending outwards as I'm actually pushing down on the the plunger. Okay, you may see that, you may not, I don't know. Like I say, one day I'll find out how to do the correct lighting so you can actually see that, but when we press down on the lockdown filler, it pushes the plunger out which in turn creates a vacuum which in turn takes in the ink 
into the barrel. So it's it's the first version of the of the vacuumatic fillers. Again, round about 1939, they changed this filler to um, a speed line filler, um, which actually it was actually extended constantly. So at that point, then the the blind cap was slightly slightly longer. But this one is called a lockdown, nice and simply because you push it down, slight twist to the right, and as it says, it locks into place there. Okay, so let's pop the blind cap back on like so. So that's the reason we have a short blind cap on this one. And the speed line filler after that, then they actually brought out the, some of you will know, the, the sort of like plastic, sort of mushroom shaped plunger um, on the on the pens but the lockdown filler is the beginning of the vacuumatic range so yes I can hear you people shouting I know you want to see the pen writing the pen has been cleaned internally as you can see the transparency is nice and clear what I don't want to do is fill the pen with ink because well it's going to be looking for a new home, maybe. I'm not sure yet. It's actually such a gorgeous pen. I'm seriously considering keeping it. But if I do decide to find a new home for it, then I'll, that, well, whoever actually buys the pen, they can actually decide whether they want to actually exhibit the pen, put it in their collection, or actually use the pen as an everyday writer. But what I'll do, because it'd still be quite interesting we will we will dip the pen so let's just see how how it writes so let's dip it in our ink and let's see how it writes so so it's a parky vacuumatic what we term as a lockdown filler let's just dip it again nice and simple easy to do on this pen we're dating it to 1938 as we said earlier the nib is showing a number 18 which means it's the first quarter of 1938 whereas on the barrel it's showing a number 8 with two dots which indicates that it's 1938 but it's the second quarter of 1938. It's a nice writer, as you'd expect from this pen. Um, let's uh, dip it again. Does it have any flex? Just, I would say, just a little... No, I wouldn't say it has any flex. No. No, now if I was actually sort of selling this pen or describing it, I'd say no, it doesn't have a, uh, a flexi nib. It's quite a hard nib and writing with, I would say, a medium, medium line. So there's your writing sample. Let's put that to one side. Let's just give the nib a little wipe. We'll clean that after the video. Let's pop the cap back on and there we have it an absolutely gorgeous pen 1938 so what's that 60 70 getting on for about 80 year old pen absolutely beautiful as we said in this burgundy some people call it a rose pearl transparent barrel gold filled trim in absolutely stunning condition a beautiful beautiful pen i hope you people have enjoyed looking at this beautiful pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy hey have you subscribed no then why not subscribe to my channel but for now 
I'll just say if you can why not support the work that I do and at this point I'll just simply say bye bye for now